Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Shane. And welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some credibility to the mix, we compare our top fives with that of an expert in the field. Today's topic is hottest Disney animated characters. And today's expert is, and she actually wrote something down for me to say, a thirsty baddie with a fatty. Please welcome to the Beat Town, Joyce Louis-Jean. Hi, I'm so excited. A baddie with a fatty. Hey, I put it on my Tinder account, so well, I feel like. I can't think official. of anything more official than that. <laughs> Shall we go around here, just a little round? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm really excited for this topic. Mm. Oh my God, your energy right now. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you just swallowed a handful this is of really, Quaaludes. This is yeah. really fun. I Holy feel fuck. like you're ready to purr, queen. I, mean, oh, let's I am do ready this. to purr. <laughs> that is disturbing. All oh, right, we're already That's getting weird. How are you guys feeling, huh? I'm just ready to roast you guys and pick the best ones. Now understand, this is a place of love. Mm -hmm. We respect the love. Oh, oh <laughs> no, actually I like what you're putting down here. Okay, let's get at it. This is a place of respect. We gotta respect the It is the a list. place of respect. We gotta this respect the- the top five beat down. I respect you when the cameras are off, but the cameras are on. What let's the hell have we been doing uh, this whole know, time? Man. Joyce is right. Well, actually I'm curious. Did you make your top five based off of people that you would like to perhaps uh, wife up? Mm. Or did you make your list based off of people that you want to go to town town with? All of these are hoes. Okay. These are hoes. Based off the hotness. Strictly like, hoes on this list. Yeah, we're not looking for wives. Okay, we're looking well, for a good time. What if it's a mixture of both for me? No, I'm, no, 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 no. Hoes. The rules for this episode, they have to be characters from the Disney Animation Studios. So that means no Pixar, no Marvel, no live action other than that. You know, you could list your naughtiest little desires. And we did. And we did. I can't wait to throw some pictures up of these. All right, without further ado, let's, let's list! list. <laughs> Joyce, mm -hmm. you are the guest here, so you do the honors. Your number five, please. My number five is... <laughs> Max Goofy. Oh, oh, is his last name Goofy? Yeah. Whoa. Cool. Right? His last name's Goof? Goof? So Goofy's Goofy name Goof? is Goofy Goof? Goofy Goof? <laughs> Gorge. When I watched the movie, when it came out in the early 90s, Goofy when I was movie. a child, he was very cute to me. I liked his personality. He was giving me like a Tom Holland vibe, you know, awkward, oh, yeah, yeah. but cute. He's just an old school crush, you know what I'm saying? It seems like Tom Holland studied him. Also, he has like good fits throughout that whole movie. Like the, the opening, opening song to that movie, Amazing. so good. I just rewatched it on some performance enhancers, and uh, I gotta say, it really took me back. Cocaine? <laughs> no, weed, you oh. fucking oh, weirdo. I was about to say, what is that stuff that makes your pee-wee hard? You mean Viagra? <laughs> Viagra, performance you, enhancers. You thought that I... <laughs> Let me get this straight. I said I watched it on performance enhancers, and the first thing your mind went to was I watched a Goofy movie rock hard on Viagra. We're on the horniest top five beatdown ever. <laughs> okay. Yours. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> My number five is, from that same movie, Powerline. Oh! When you listen to Yeah, that guy. Oh my, oh god. my god. Talk about a, a fucking heartthrob. <laughs> Sexy guy. I, mean, I would yeah, love yeah, him yeah, to yeah. dance on my booty cheeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's also got excellent hair. He Defies like gravity. He yeah. looks like a sexy lightning bolt. He does. Yeah. And, and the lady at the end going, ah! Oh yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I love so her. Good. Can we play any of that song? Because uh, maybe, like, maybe two seconds of yeah. it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Hey, cool. Uh, <laughs> this guy has undeniable sex appeal. Yes. And an excellent little jumpsuit. Like he probably had sex with all the background dancers probably. after that performance. Consensually. Consensually. He's a fucking gentleman. Period. I'm liking the lists so far uh, because they do feel very informed by not just like, you know, smoke shows out here. I mean, We're he just, is a smoke show. Yeah, yeah, he is, but a lot, I mean, he's a scrawny guy. Mm -hmm. But he's got moves. Like a, I guess like a Pete Davidson way. I guess a little bit. Yeah. I guess. Anyways, yeah. we're gonna move to Shane now, and I wanna say before you get into your list, Shane, you're a freaky guy. Okay? I'm not a we, freaky guy. He's, he's a, you're a freaky guy. And so I'm curious what Shane Madey finds sexy, because mm -hmm. you're a lot of things. Sexual is not one of them, I would say. 
Uh, oh, there's a freak in all of us. Well, why don't you save your judgment till after my list? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. He responded exactly how I wanted him to. I love <laughs> Here that. we go. My number five is... <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Miss Bianca from oh. the Rescuers. Oh yeah. Ooh. I, I might need you to pull up a picture. Wait, is she one of the Rescuers? Yeah, she's, she's the, the lady. Oh, yeah. okay, I know. She's very elegant. Exactly. So you have right. like a Audrey Hepburn kind of vibe. Yeah, like a 1920 mommy cake. She's adventurous. Just a nasty, nasty woman in the very best ways. She's up for anything yeah. uh, mm -hmm. adventure-wise. Uh, <laughs> she's out there riding birds. She's yeah. riding yeah. birds! Who else so knows what cute. she's riding? And she is stopping evildoers, which I think is very sweet of her. Saving orphans. Yeah. Um, way to tick. You've said several times across many shows, yeah. you would love to be a little mouse. Hey, maybe. Now I'm starting to put two and two together as well, you look, may have done in your brain. No, no, no. The sole reason for me wanting to be a mouse is not that I want to kiss Bianca. I don't mm. think you wanted to kiss Bianca. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> These are not five characters I'd love to fuck, okay? I mean... These are five characters who I think could get it from many people. If Bianca came up to me and I was also a mouse and she said, my husband's out of town, <laughs> Oh shit, so you're you like, you, you're this. the mistress. Well, yeah, you're look, the side I piece. thought you were she's, she's happily married to Bob Newhart. Maybe this He's is before Bob. Or, or maybe, maybe it could be a thruple situation. A hall pass. I haven't thought this through too much. I'm just thinking that's one sexy ass mouse. Okay. Okay, well, number four. Nani Pelikai. Nani is the older sister from Lilo and Stitch. She had to recently take care of her little sister after her parents passed away. I think what made her hot was just her responsibility. She's learning how to be an adult and the true meaning of family. Mm. And I just really, I love that about her. Oh, hello! Oh, hello right? means family. That's what I remember. <laughs> I saw the commercials for it. You've never seen Lilo and I've Stitch? I've never seen it. You've never seen Why? Stitch? No, I've heard good things. I really feel like she's on my hot list just because of her great personality and because I want to be her and her boyfriend's third. What's he like? He's also hot. Okay. But she's hotter. So you like the responsibility of like the adult? Yeah, I have mommy issues. <laughs> Sure. There it is. <laughs> I want to be taken care of. And she's a hula baby. dancer. Too. And she's a hula dancer. And she loves her sister. And she and got a body out of you. She's big. And she loves her sister's little blue guy. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, we had a blue guy. Pat. Oh. Love you. Okay. Well, let's go to my number four here. Oh, boy. My number four is Vixie. <laughs> now, Vixie is the fox from Fox and the Hound. Okay. Now, I will say, All right. <laughs> there's two characters on this list that I would consider a sexual awakening of sorts. <laughs> you know what? The fox had beautiful eyes. She was very like, like sexual. And well, she's like, a fox. She's very flirtatious. Yeah, sure. And at that point, I didn't realize what this energy was inside me. I was like, what are these feelings that are, are being yeah. generated inside my chest cavity? You wanted to be special friends with her. Yeah. Dare I say, I wanted to be special friends with that fox. Yeah. Uh, that's all I really have to say about it before it gets weirder. Okay, maybe we should cut you off there then. I've seen Fox and the Hound once, I think. Can I show you a picture of this Foxy Pull up Fox? a picture. Yes. Oh my God, I mean, come on. Hey, oh. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, she's foxy. <laughs> yeah, that is a fine ass fox right yeah. there. That, that's very, that's a coquettish animal. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Number four is Ursula, the Jesus sea Christ. witch. Can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of sound like her. Oh, I love it, dude. You, you fucking poor, unfortunate <laughs> soul. Yeah. You're a poor, unfortunate I mean, talk soul. Talk about a woman who understands the benefits of body language. You know what I'm talking That's about? That's true. She does gesticulate. Look, you know, like I said, a lot of this is vibes, and she's got a lot of power. Uh, she knows what she wants. She's got two slippery moray eels, and I think that's kind of cool. I mean, my mind immediately went to hentai. Oh, uh, I forgot about the tentacles, but you're yeah, right. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, Whoa. yeah, it was wrapping yeah, all over I was you. Like, oh God, I just feel like her tentacles would crush your spine and pop your head like a break grape. all your fucking bones. She'd break all your bones. Yeah, like, is, that, like is that a bad me. thing? I don't know. Mm. Squeeze me like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, she, she really would. I mean, she would be nasty. Oh, absolutely. That was a big factor. Yeah. So, like, well, this one is one that you would want to bang then. Yeah. You know, Ursula just has really good top energy, and I think for you, I think you have a lot of tension. 
and I think she would just literally top you and it'll be great. Bring me out like an old dishcloth. Period. Jesus Christ. All right, let's move on to our number threes. But before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsor, NordVPN. This video is brought to you by NordVPN, you know, as a creator. It's important to know that our viewers have access to all their favorite content, no matter where they are in the world. With NordVPN, your favorite video games, podcasts, or ghost hunting shows are only a click away. And you can stream with a super fast connection, meaning there's no time wasted on buffering. Using NordVPN also keeps you safe by blocking ads and malware-ridden websites. Best of all, NordVPN uses double encryption and secures your traffic on public networks. And if you ever lose connection to your VPN, Nord has an auto-kill switch just in case. You can secure six devices at once, and it's compatible with all major operating systems, making it accessible for everyone. Now more than ever, it's important to have safe, reliable access to the web. Go to nordvpn.com slash watcher to get a two-year plan plus an extra gift with a huge discount. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring Top 5 Beatdown. Now, back to the show. And we're back. And now on to your number three joints. Okay. So I picked Tadashi. Big Hero oh. 6. The older brother to our main character. You know, he's just a super smart Really student. smart guy. He created like BMO or the big thing. Yeah. I'm in love with him. Like I feel like he's a Virgo. He'll like blank me at like the target. Lots of And blanking. then like tell me like science theory. Okay, but because he's dead, would you accept Baymax? It's basically him. Honestly, I think I could totally be with Baymax. I can make anything okay, work. Yeah. He certainly would be plushy. Like a giant pillow with a dildo on it. Yeah, got getting, yeah pretty much exactly that. Yeah. Getting banged out by an airbag. Hey, <laughs> in this economy, I'll take it. You know, I feel like a lot of people in Big Hero 6 are going after the ant. I, I left her off my list. There's an ant in Big Hero 6? Okay, yeah, careful six. what you search for because there is a strong internet following for this lady. Big Hero 6. I've seen some videos while I was browsing for other things. Oh boy, aunt. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Tadashi and Baymax, they could like tag team me. <laughs> All right, that's a good closer. <laughs> Let's move to number three. Number three is Esmeralda. 100%. Oh yeah, I mean, 100%. look, this, this lady is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I think she might be the only proper human on my list. Okay. She's got lovely green eyes. She's mm -hmm. got, you know, th that beautiful curly hair. Mm -hmm. uh, Scarves. And then also she is a humanitarian. She's one of the only people that sees the good in Quasimodo. Yeah. And I ask you, cause Quasimodo, a real stud. Also she had like three guys pining after. She had Phobius, Phoebius, yeah. Phobius? Mm -hmm. Phobius. The, the blondie. Yeah, the blonde, the blonde dude. The blonde Quasimodo boy. and obviously that Frollo guy one. Yeah, I would totally bunk the Frollo guy because you like then his hat? I could beat him up. Do you think he wears the hat still while oh, he's absolutely. doing it? It's the only so, thing he wears. He's so yeah. sexually repressed. Yeah, I could see him enjoying that, honestly. Yeah. She's just badass, though. I, I mean, yeah. I always had a crush on her when I was a kid. When I was watching that movie, I was like, one day, I'm gonna jump into this film. <laughs> you gotta get a little topsy-turvy. When I get a little oh, older. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little topsy-turvy. <laughs> Uh, or bottoms eater. And she could dance, you know? She, uh, yo. The mind can wander. That's a couple dancers on your list. Yeah, you the like Power dancers. Powerline's got moves. Powerline's got some moves. Actually, these two, if they ever. Oh, that's a lot. That's an Buckle your seatbelt. That's an explosion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you in the middle. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Anyways, let's go to uh, Shane's number two here. My, my number three. Three, my bad. I got, my mind got, went somewhere else. <laughs> my number three is. Queenie the cow from 101 Dalmatians. And you put Oedipal. I put Oedipal because, well, she's a very matronly character. You have mommy issues. Yes. I, I don't, but do you, in you, this case, I can see- Do you have an Oedipus see, complex? Like, look at this. Well, look, she's not a mother. She's an adventurer. I mean, she might as well be. Ursula she... absolutely does not have kids. Well, be... She has kids in the sequel, I think. Yeah. Miss what? Miss Bianca yes. has kids. Oh, I gotta check that out. No, Miss Bianca doesn't have kids. I'm pretty sure she does. No, they're world travelers. I they can't. always have kids. They're childless. I think in the second one they have kids. And the rest no, I've down... watched Red Tours Down Under a Ton. They don't have kids. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. <laughs> I don't have mommy issues. I love that she gives milk to the 101. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You I can't say, say that. that after I don't, don't have, have mommy, mommy issues. issues. And you love that he's giving I milk. Really I don't have mommy issues. Here's my reasons why I like it. Reason number one, she gives milk. 
I just always want to know more about her. Like, what's it? It's so kind of her to do that because it's such a noble and just selfless thing to do to let someone suck on your udders, let alone a hundred Dalmatians. They got little, they, they're probably nippy. You know? So you're saying you want to do the sucking or you want to get sucked. I'm confused now. I don't want to do any of those things. I'm just saying character wise, mm. I find that very endearing. You know, I could see how this would read as a little Oedipal. To be honest, no, I don't think anyone would have been like, I think this guy has an I mean, Oedipus. The whole thing is based <laughs> around- He put Queenie the cow. <laughs> But the fact that you thought we were gonna bring that up and then wrote it down to deter that argument? I guess so, yeah. Honestly, I don't even remember writing it. I believe it. It was probably free writing. Yeah, I, did. I oh sort of blacked out when I wrote this list. Yeah. So. I was about to say, you're anyway, in a few state, honey. I stand by it. Let's move on to number two, Joyce. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, she's going for it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Scar. Scar! Scar! Yeah, I feel like a lot of my friends, like, growing up, they all had a crush on, like, Mufasa and Simba. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I just want to be, like, in the wild, roughing in the tough. <laughs> That's fair. You want to get banged properly in the skeleton of a, uh, an elephant. Yeah, I was gonna say, I prefer sort of his cold, stony lair. The Badlands. Like, rock, come on. Yeah. The Badlands. Yeah. Like, he killed his brother. That's true. You know he's gonna boink you down. Sure. Jeremy Irons, too. A very sultry voice. Oh yeah. my, voice. imagine that huffing and puffing over you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. I, I get it. He also has lie. lovely green eyes. Yeah, I Hyenas was all around you. Yeah. Who care about them dusty hoes? I'm trying to get that boink boink. Yeah, I get it. They're all cheering you on. Oh yeah, get it. Girl. Get it, boss. Get it, get it, get it boys. <laughs> You know, let's move to uh, my number two here. <laughs> my number two is Roxanne. Ooh, of course. Yeah. Very you know, classy choice. It's a pretty vanilla pick. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'll say it, but I feel like almost every guy who was my age when they watched that movie, I was like, I don't know, in like a middle school or something, had a crush on Roxanne. Yeah. I mean, they made her very much mm -hmm. the, 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 you know, the object of his uh, affection. They wanted you to have a crush on that. They wanted dog. you to have a crush on her. She wasn't a cheerleader. She was like the cute, nerdy girl yeah. that was like, if I was in this movie, maybe, probably not, I would have a shot with her because like I'm in her league. Yeah. She was like the original baddie. Like she wasn't really trying to be popular. No. She wasn't trying to be cool. She just wanted to be herself. It's true. All right. Let's move on to Shane's number two. All right, I'm my scared. number two is Professor Radigan from The Great Mouse Detective. The villain, the guy who looks like Bane? Yeah, I guess Wait, he does. Wait, can I get a look photo? Like oh, I see it. Yeah, you're seeing what no, I'm talking about. I see about. it. You know, you want someone who's gonna rough you up. You're really giving me bottom energy. I like his style. Yeah. I like his style. You want to get roughed up and coddled. He's, like a, <laughs> he's got a, a beautiful silken top yeah. hat. He wears capes. Yeah. I think this might be more aspirational hot for me. Mm. I would love to sort of evolve into a Radigan. <laughs> oh, wait a second. So you want to, to be, be him, him, not to point him. Be, d be done I, by you him. Know, we'll see what happens. You know, I've taken different approaches to all these there's an attitude there, there's uh, a drive. Yeah. You know, he knows what he wants to do. I think you can all agree that he's just a, a big, sexy guy. Yeah, very Bane-like. I'm not, I don't see it, but I respect your list. I see it. Number one will bring it home for you, don't worry. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm scared. Let's move on to Joyce's number one, and I'm actually very excited here. My number one is my classy choice. Oh shit, classy. Mm-hmm. Oh Mulan. yeah, yeah, move on. And like, the thing about Mulan is that she saved the country, so of course she can clap my cheeks. Me? Oh. <laughs> ah, consider them clapped. I just feel like Mulan is such a baddie. On that horse? Yeah, yeah. the bobbing up and down. The bobbing up yeah. and down? Yeah, I get it. You know? I've only seen Mulan once. Okay, I'm looking up to have a movie that. marathon. <laughs> watch the same a lot of, I don't rewatch a lot of Disney movies, I just watch the mouse ones. <laughs> It's a little bit androgynous, you know, cut the hair. I was gonna say, did that mm. factor into your decision, the a second little act, bit, when a she little pretends bit. to be a boy? I'm not gonna lie, and then, you know, Shane? I just, I really wanna be the third, obviously. Maybe that's my well, That's a beautiful movie. man as well. I feel like they would just, like, beat me up. That's true, she climbs the hell out of that pole. Carry me around like those two water buckets, have, like, competitions, ugh. Just breaks your back. I just want my back broken. <laughs> <laughs> 
how far do the accomplishments go in that? Because she's a very accomplished person, obviously. Yeah, I like to boink up. Okay. Yeah. So that is a factor. But even all that aside, mm -hmm. an attractive lady. Well, interesting okay. though, because Max is kind of a loser though. Yeah, that's why he's at the bottom of my list. Oh. <laughs> that's fair. You know what? That makes sense. And Scar killed a king. And was a king for a couple and of years. And was a king. I could have lived like a rich tigress. Yeah. Like, don't touch my man. Before you were thrown off a cliff to yeah. be eaten by hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my number one is... It's Nala. And for bonus, perhaps Simba. They're both sexy as hell, those lions. Yeah. They have no right to be that sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're talking about after the montage. Post-montage, uh, sexy as hell. Post-montage, I mean, yeah. super sexy, has lovely green eyes. Yeah, that was my first sex scene. That is they, do, they have sex, hey, they, right? kinda, they kinda they low key sex. They had that baby. Really. Sex? For Lion King 2, that baby was born very quickly. That's okay. true. No, it, it probably goes back to that waterfall. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, can you feel the love tonight is just like, hey, we're gonna have sex right now. Well, what happened? Yeah, heck, are you not gonna have sex when Elton John starts singing? Oh. That is True. And then when Nyla like yes, lays in the grass and looks up at him, oh, they point. She did the move where after in postcoital brings up the serious question. Yeah. And now that you know Simba, he has that post nut clarity. Mm. And so now he could answer the question of like, why aren't you coming home to be the king? Mm -hmm. She was like, I'm gonna she do I'm gonna so get much. this out of my system mm -hmm. because we both wanted it to happen. Mm -hmm. And now let's get down to business. I liked that. I, I think mm -hmm. if you read the screenplay in the descriptive text, it does say oh. Simba responding with post nut clarity. Exactly. Oh, wow. I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. yeah. She's just, I mean, what am I gonna say? I think I wanted to bang that lion. Great. Move on to Shane. Okay. <laughs> My number one is Fifi the Feather Duster Ooh. from Beauty and the Beast. It's Lumiere's girlfriend. Oh, Lumiere, that And honestly, sick. when I saw you put Slash Simba on there, I honestly regret not putting Slash Lumiere you because should've. Lumiere is a fucking stud. Ooh, but yeah. frankly, Fifi the Feather Duster takes up a lot of real estate, and I felt the need to clarify because I put this on solely referring. <laughs> yeah. You see what I I'm talking know. about? What? I, I put this on here solely referring to her object. Form. And then I thought in the back of my mind, I was like, did they show her as a human at some point? And they do. And she's an, she's a, look, she's an attractive lady. Well, all due respect, as a feather duster, she does have a dump truck ass. Yeah, that's like all she has. And it's very apparent from her relationship with Lumiere that they're a very feisty couple. I mean, I, I mean, Lumiere burns a lot of hot. French men, Fire and man. they're very feisty. I think at some point she specifically says, I've been burned by you before. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting there with his little mustache <laughs> holes. There you go. Is that her as a human? Yeah. She's oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, oh, like wow. I said, that did not factor into I'm it. I'm sure it didn't, yeah. buddy. But yowza. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. She's a fucking smoke show. Yeah. She's a smoke show. I'm not okay. gonna lie. This is an underrated pick. Yeah, I, I, and honestly, she wasn't at the top of mind. I kind of forgot she existed. Yeah. And then suddenly, uh, just out of the ether and the darkness and the yeah. recesses of my mind, I, yeah. I thought, oh, wasn't there that? Because my first thought went to Mrs. Potts. You know, I was obviously. about to say. And then I started thinking about the peripheral characters in Beauty and the Beast, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Who was that one? And I had to look up her name, but Who Fifi. was that one? Fifi. I just imagine Shane just walking through the halls of his yes. mind palace. Just out of the distance, he hears, Shaney. <laughs> Monsieur Madame. <laughs> and I open the door, and out of the darkness, he, <gasps> Oh my god. I'm a little dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's it. I'm speechless. That's great. That's I'm good stuff. Speechless. Well, that was disturbing. Keep it freaky, kids. Well, I guess that does it for this episode of Top 5 Beatdown. Make sure you guys try them off in the comments to say whose list was good, whose list was bad, maybe whose list maybe got a little more flack than they needed to. And uh, Joyce, thank you for joining us on of the show. Of course. Do you that have anything you'd like to plug? Um, I just want to plug my socials. Follow me on a tribe called Joyce on all social media platforms. And for anyone watching, I just want you to have a beautiful day and to love yourself. Oh. Well, that was, a, that was a very wholesome ending to a very non-wholesome video. To be a hoe, you got to be wholesome, honey. Oh. That's, put that's, that on put, me. oh my God. Fucking fortune cookie yeah. or something. All right. Huh? That's, that's the list. list.